Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully, you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, you gotta say a huge shout out to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know what ButcherBox is, they send you delicious meats right to your doorstep. You skip the grocery line, you just literally sit at home, you go online, you sign up. Whether you like poultry, whether you like fish, whether you like pork, anything, they've got it. They've even got, look at this. Right here, we got some lobster tails, ladies and gentlemen. That's the special of the day for today. It expires soon. So if you guys are new members, you hadn't signed up yet, and you sign up right now, you click the link down in the description down below, you get two free five ounce lobster tails and two free 10 ounce ribeye steaks. You guys know me and Butcher Box ribeye steaks. They are my absolute favorite. Favorite. I keep these on tap here in the household. So if you guys want to try ButcherBox for yourself, like I said, skip the grocery line. It's super high quality meat delivered right to your doorstep. Makes for a great gift or for yourself, enough for the entire family. Click the link down in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out. Like I said, free lobster tails and free ribeyes. What more could you ask for? Limited time offer only. Click the link down in the description right now and sign up. Your first box, you get free lobster tails and free ribeyes. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of today's video. Stay tuned. Shoot! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We got an exciting episode. It's going to be an interesting one. It is time to shear the animals. Now, you might be wondering, what animals do we have to shear? Well, we've got Quattro, the world's meanest goat, sheep, ram, whatever he is in the world. He's the meanest. He's impossible to catch. And I remember we asked the owner at the auction, we're like, so how does shearing go? And he goes, we usually get charged double. That's all he said. You usually get charged double because how much of a pain he is. And then Steve, we got to come up with an idea for Steve. So he's still rocking the dang mullet. He was rocking that for molds were cool, man. Last year, no one was rocking the mullet. Now it's like everybody thinks they're cool because they got a mullet, including myself. I wish I had one. Do we keep Steve rocking the mullet or do what you... about just a mohawk down his head all the way to his tail? Like all, to his a, tail. a big long, we could do a big long mohawk. He kind of looked like one of them old dinosaurs with the spiky things on the back. Because oh, yeah. right now his mullet's big compared to his other parts of his body. We're going to have to figure out what we want to do. And then Llama, there's not a whole lot to do with you, Llama. Oh, hey, Carol. How you doing, buddy? We're not shearing you, pal. Not today, all right? I know your hair is nice and long. I know it. I, your hair's long. You don't need to be cut. Come here, Carol. Oh, Carol, come here. Llama, it's your lucky day, buddy. I don't know if there's anything to really do with Llama. Her hair's not really that long and fluffy. Ralphie, Ralphie, you're already giving yourself a haircut. Look at this strap. Come here, Ralph. Hey, come here. Look at this. What's going on here? Ralphie, it's a little late to be shedding. No, no. It's a little late to be shedding, buddy. It's already freaking hotter than hell out here. This is your hair, Ra Ralphie. You're going to break the fence. I don't... I feel like I can make something nice out of his fur. He's shedding right now. I guess he's losing his winter coat, even though it's the middle of summer. I feel like he should have lost that a couple months ago. But we've got Llama to shear. We got Quattro. Quattro. Listen, Quattro. We're friends, Quattro. You know what I'm saying? Don't do not do anything I wouldn't do. You want to see some beefcakes get their butt kicked today. We are going to have the shear guy come down. The same people from last year, and they're absolute beefcakes. So I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem, but Quattro scares me. He's a little intimidating. I'm trying to think, like, Steve, I feel like we could. what we could do is leave his mullet, do a stripe down the back, look stupid. Stupid, shave it off, just yep. big puffy mullet. Try it out a couple Fresh different ways. Up. The other thing is I don't know if I have any halters. I mean, Ralphie, you got a halter, buddy. You do have a halter, but I don't think it's gonna fit anybody else because you're big boy. Oh, you know, because you're just big boy. Okay, you guys want some food? I've been yapping for so long. You guys probably want some food. Oh, there's no there's no scoop in that one. What we got there? Oh, double scoop, double whammy. All right, we're gonna feed you guys. You calm down, you calm down. All right, come on over here. There you go. Hey, how you doing, Felicia? You wanna get sheared or what? Here you go. Bony apple feet. Here you go, pigeons. Bingo. All right, we're coming over here. Come on, come on. Llama, llama, llama. There you go, buddy. You want to eat out of the... Oh, no, she doesn't want to eat out of the scoop. All right. Come on, pig. Come on, buddy. There you go. Here you go, Carol. All right. Well, the boys are here. Let the games begin. All right, strategy. Shoo the animals into the chute that's on the other side. We've shooed them up in there. I like how I'm saying shoo without actually saying shoo. When we were vaccinating, we were giving them all their shots and whatnot. So it seemed to work. But the thing is, everybody's occupied munching right now. They don't have any idea what's going on. So I, like, I don't want to interrupt their breakfast, but we do need power. So you either got to go close to that power or you got to go on the other side there. I'm not sure how these guys are going to act. They're munching. Like I said, I feel bad, but Lom, I'll give you a heck of a treat when we're done. How, how's that sound? All right, dope. Let's get these guys over there. Hey, Lom. What's up, buddy? Come on, let's go to the other side. Come on, come on. Ralphie, it ain't your day, pal. No, it ain't. Ralphie, get out. <laughs> Ralph, get out of the way. Steve, that way, Steve. <laughs> yep, there you go, Steve. No, Steve. Yeah, there you go. One down, come on, mama. Let's get both of you guys on that side. There you go, okay, we're halfway there. We are halfway there. Come on, Steve. Keep trotting along, buddy. Come on, Steve. 
Look at that. It's like we're professional llama wranglers. All right, keep her going. Right into the chute, buddy. Yeah. Llama volunteering? Oh, they're both getting in there. Which one you which one you want to do first? Doesn't matter to me. Do you want to try to get the halters on both of them now or just pick one and get one done and grab the other one later? Grab the alpaca. That's him right there. Alright, Steve. 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 Steve, it's gonna be alright, Steve. <laughs> it's gonna be alright, Steve. Steve, you look funny, buddy. Hey, Steve, don't do anything I wouldn't do, Steve. On your back, pal. There you go. That a boy. Ralph, it's not your day, pal. You can go somewhere else. Steve. Life's gonna be all right. Let me try to get the halter on him. Don't kick me now, Steve. Don't spit at you. No, don't spit on me, Steve, Steve. I thought we were friends. No, I thought we were friends. There you go, grab that side. Steve, it's all right, buddy. There we go. It's gonna be all right, pal. It's gonna be all right. He's like, gosh, dang it, not again. We're gonna get you a fresh fade. It's gonna be all right, buddy. Life's gonna be good. You want your mullet back or what? What are you thinking? Steve, I'm gonna let you out on the green pasture after this. How's that sound, buddy? We have a deal? Yeah, all right. Don't spit on me, though. Not cool, dude. No, it's not cool. How close do you want him like that? That'll be good. Any special request? We're thinking about leaving stripe down his back and leave the mullet, and if the stripe looks stupid, we'll get rid of the stripe and just mullet on me. Ralphie, you're not getting sheared, Ralphie. No, you're not getting sheared. No, don't bite me. It's not your day. No, it's not your day. How about you just come over here? Let's go. Come on, Ralph. Come on, Ralph. He's obsessed. He wants to get sheared. Well, I think Steve's looking good. Steve, how you feel, buddy? You're looking like a million bucks, Steve. If we can see your nuts, look at that. Steve, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm gonna untie you, okay? No? Go tell your girlfriend she's next. That didn't taste very good, does it? I don't know why you're eating it. There you go. Go ahead, Steve. Steve, <laughs> look at him. Best looking alpaca, all right, in the Midwest. Look at that guy. He's killing it. I don't understand why you're obsessed with the hair here. Come here. Okay, come on. Let's go. You want to help me find llama? Let's go. Come on. Buddy, you are not getting sheared today. You make you kush. Remember that? I'm going to start making you kush. You keep doing this. You me go find some Scooby snacks. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> no, he wants Scooby snacks. All right, I'll go find some. Ralphie, look what I got. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's your favorite. You got Scooby snacks. How about you walk on the other side and we'll leave you over there, huh? You want some more? Come follow me, pal. Oh, come on now. Let's go. Right here. Ralphie, right here. I got you a whole bunch. You want another one? Easy. <laughs> okay, you got to stay on this side, though. That tastes pretty fire or what? Can't taste that good. Looks like poop. All right, we'll leave these here. You stay on this side. You got Scooby Snacks. Llama, get to the other side. <laughs> Ralphie, I left you hella snacks. Why are you so mad? Wish I had something to tie up. Oh, there's a rope right here. No, Rick. No. Don't knock it over. Dale, you gotta stay on this side. You gotta go this way. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> Come on. You wanna just run her in that chute again? Yeah. Get the halter on her. Get in the chute. Get in the chute, llama. No. There you go. Mama, you cause some problems. Alright, don't spit on me now. No, don't do it. Nope. Oh, oh. Did your head get bigger last year or what? Okay. Taking my llama for a walk. Llama, llama, llama. No, it's not doing anybody any good. You're just gonna get pissed. Woo! Everything off. Yep. We ain't even done quattro yet. Good llama. No flies today, buddy. There you go, llama. You did better than your brother Steve or your boyfriend, I should say. You pissed. She's still pissed at me. She, she's not a fan. I'll help you. Just don't kick me, all right? I'm just gonna get you out. It's a good llama. That's a good llama. It is so good, buddy. How's that feel? See you later, dude. 
She's in shock. <laughs> She's just like, what is going on right now? Look at her head. Looks like a bobblehead. I don't know if her neck was so darn skinny. <laughs> she looks so weird. Rick, how'd you get over here? We put you on the other side, buddy. Well, two animals down. They weren't bad. Steve was a little little wound up. Llama was good. She. I remember last year she was spitting and <laughs> now she looks she looks odd. Her and Steve look like a match made in heaven right there. So now. This is where things get interesting, folks. We got Quattro, Big Daddy Quattro, Big Nuts. You seen his nuts? Big Nuts. You'll see him today. This is where things get interesting. Say, so when we bought him, we asked the guy, and he's like, Yeah, we had to pay double to get him sheared just because of how honored he is. So, you guys have done Jacob sheep before? Yep. You're feeling good about it? You're not worried about it. I'm worried about it. Let's see how this goes. Listen, pal, listen, pal. Hey, not the merch. Start getting wound up. Sheesh! Come here, pal. Oh, he's beating your ass. He just jumped up onto that turkey. Oh, really? Yeah, he just tried to spur you. All right, just don't let Rick in. Come on, Quattro. Right here at the barn. It's gonna be all right, buddy. You're gonna feel so much better. You're doing this for your own good. I need beefcake sharing it, LLC. Sheesh. So you're a nice Moraine, aren't you? What do I, what do I got to do? Yeah, you, you got it. I believe in you. Whew. Here you go, pal. <laughs> Look at him, he just chills. Quattro! Looks like a new man, buddy. I got handed a clipper when I was in sixth grade and I was told I was a sheep here. <laughs> Alright, you're good, pal. Look at you. New man! Look at he don't even look like the same animal. Dude, I bet that's gotta feel so good. Imagine wearing the heaviest coat you own in the middle of July. I guess wearing it for like a year and it be July. And then all of a sudden just being able to take it off and be naked. That's what this man feels like right now. Well, appreciate you coming out. You made it look real easy. Look at all that wool. Shoo! That is wild. Well, animals are done. Let's let them up in the pasture. Shoo! All right, animals are sheared. Now it's time to treat them to some delicious grass. We're gonna let them out on pasture. We, we've had them on hay now for a week. We're trying to kind of rotate and give the grass a break. And then my back of the shop looks like this, and I almost, yesterday, almost jumped in the skid loader and mowed it. And then it dawned on me, I'm like, why would I mow it when I've got like 12 free lawnmowers that don't actually consume gasoline down here, and they would enjoy it. They'd, I don't know what these leaves are and bushes are, but I'm sure they would love to eat it. It's overgrown like crazy. I don't really want them to eat too much of my grass, because I just got done planting it, but I think they'll probably eat the big broad leafy stuff first and then I can mow it down. At least let them try it. So we've got our fence over here. Let's leave it. So that way we can push them up here and then close it off to, I don't want them eating that today. I want them eating this. We're going to leave this fence exactly the way it is, but then we're going to take and put the fence corner there and we're going to run it up to there and then over. And then on the other side, we're going to have to go get some panels of some sort to block them. And we're going to try to corral all the animals up here to eat. Maybe not Ralph, just because Ralph scares me. He could just walk through right through that fence and I don't want him getting out but I think we get all pretty much all the other animals Carol and whatnot and just watch them plow through this leafy greeny stuff treat them to a nice delicious afternoon snack after what well, we tortured a handful of these guys shearing so we're gonna go ahead and get that unboxed Are you feeling good about it oh, yeah. all right well build that fence Fence is up, folks. I've got uh, a couple minutes. I got someone's coming to my house for me to pee in a cup. I think I gotta do some type of physical or something. I'm not even making that up. I do. So they'll be here in like five minutes. So we're gonna try and getting these animals up there in that pasture. You good, buddy? You doing all right? Come here, pal. Oh, come on. No, you know, you know, you like me. All right. Well, let's we'll start crawling the animals.
glad you guys saw the animals are munching. I had to go get my blood drawn and everything. So I actually didn't even help. You were on your own. You you wrangled him. He wrangled him by himself. He got everything up there. Dale was the only one we had problems. We had to kick Dale back out. He kept uh, abusing his privileges up there and kept getting stuck in the fence. We took him out. But all the other animals were doing great up there. Quattro, you couldn't get Quattro. Give Quattro a break. He, he had a rough day. I mean, honestly, it's a good day for him, but he, he probably considers it rough. But we've got these fish here, ladies and gentlemen. And what we got is some shad. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They're co oh, oh, bluegills like grass. grass. Yeah, bluegills like grass. It's just so hard to keep minnows alive. It's a pain to go run and get them. Like, the closest minnow store here is like an hour away. I'm just like, man, if we just stocked up on a bunch of shad, and, and Beamer said he's got a ton frozen, kept them frozen, thawed one out every single day or every other day, and sliced them up into just little cubes. I mean, it's the same thing. It's just straight fish protein. So, the sun's not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but should be able to see. Have you seen any of the carp we put in here? I guess I hadn't really noticed. I see some bluegills and some bass. I wonder if they got KO'd. Oh, oh, oh. Bluegills are, they're aggressive. Uh, yeah, I must, I don't know if I see any of the shad. The bass might have munched them. We put some carp in here that we caught from a, from a cast net, but we've got some delicious shad here that we're gonna try feeding our bass and see if it works. I mean, you can always cut up into little, little bites for the bluegills, but I mean, like, there's a protein packed deal there and we could get unlimited amounts of these suckers. So let's see, we'll go ahead and cut the tail off. I don't think that's gonna be holding much protein. I mean, I guess I can always give them just a little bit. Little protein nuggets. Look at that. It's literally straight protein. All right, let's see if they think. Oh my gosh, dude. That was instant. All of them. All bass. I was like, I saw three or four of the bass went up and got it at the same time. It's gone. All right, we got to chop a bunch up and just start a feeding frenzy. Think someone KO this head? Oh, I bet that big one will. You think Big Daddy? We'll try that next. Yeah, we'll just try it. Hopefully you don't choke and die. He's not that big. I don't think you. He'll munch that. You think so? All those carp are gone. I think he's eating them. All right, hopefully we don't kill our fish. Oh, it's gone. Was that the biggest one? I don't know if that was even the biggest bass. His cheeks are completely filled right now. I hope he don't choke and die. I mean, they have crushers, and it's, it wasn't frozen. It's it's thawed now. I think that was the biggest. I'm looking at the rest of them. They're all like fairly the similar size. There's one that's bigger than the rest, and he's he can't even close his mouth. His cheeks are completely up. He needs to go crawl in his little fish cave and hide out. Let's go feed the rest of these guys. Cut them up in a little bits. So that way, some of them smaller bass can get a hold of it. All right, sushi night, boys. Oh, hang on. There's a grasshopper. Come on, Bluegill. That's That one's for you, pal. Bluegill, that's your one moment. Oh, oh, gone. Gone. Bass ate it. Gone. Gone. Dude, it's automatic. Gone. Oh, you missed it. You got a little piece left. Oh, nothing's going to get it, huh? I think they all have their mouth. Oh, no, nope, they all have their mouths full. They'll eat this off the bottom. That's funny, dude. They literally all have their mouths are just chomping down. The bluegill's destroying that one. That's good. He'll get a little bit of protein out of it. I like this. I think this is the strap. Frozen shad. Ideally, if we could get shad like that, size where you could throw a whole shad in there and they could eat it, we don't have to cut it. But I mean, again, you're talking just a big old chunk of meat. I feel like that's about as high a protein diet as you could get for these bass and bluegill in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump the rest. Let it sit on the bottom and we'll see if it's all gone. Can the bass swim up here, you think? There was one up we, there one day. We could, we could put it all on the ledge. That way it's easy to, like, when we come back later tonight or tomorrow, we'll, we'll yeah. you know, you'll know hey, it's all gone or it's not. Yeah, we'll throw it all up over there. There we go. All right. I think it's a good strap. If you guys have any issues saying that it's bad, I don't, I don't see any downside to having it. I mean, like I said, they're easy to keep. Keep in the freezer, thaw them out, chop them up, throw them out there. I mean, right now, all three of our bass are digesting big old chunks of shad. Hopefully that'll make them grow big and strong and tall. Well, you saw Shear some animals today. We got uh, Quattro, we got Llama, and we got Steve. Done, they'll be feeling good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed us doing that. Hopefully they enjoyed the delicious grass up behind the shop, and then I don't even have to fire up the mower. Good day out on the farm. I know it wasn't super exciting, but had to be done, folks. Had to bring you guys along for the adventure. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.